So as I continue to grow in my faith, I'm finding that many of my favorite scriptures are found in the Psalms, the hymn book of the Hebrew people. And one of my favorite Psalms of thanksgiving and praise is Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Now today we're going to focus on the first part of this psalm, making a joyful noise to God and coming into God's presence with singing. Music is, after all, a large part of what we do when we come together for worship. And music has been a big part of the faith life almost since the beginning. Music is spiritual, I think, because it connects to the ground of our being. Music moves in our heart and fills us with all sorts of emotions, joy and sadness, celebration and lament. Music is a form of prayer, both in lifting up our prayers and petitions to God through song and also in hearing God's reply in the beauty of the melody and the harmony. Now, today is also Mother's Day, and we know that for many, it's an odd day. This is going to be a Mother's Day unlike any we've ever experienced. We're not going to be able to take mom to the restaurant. In some cases, the best we can do is to offer a phone call or a wave across the room. Holidays like today remind us that we have a long way to go until things are normal again. So we decided this week to do this service as a gift to all the moms out there. It's a concert of praise and celebration totally focused on music. And of course, Brian and I will be sharing some songs with you, but we've also reached out to some friends in the community to share as well and hear their perspective on the life of faith. Our hope is that there will be something in the songs today that helped that helps to connect you to God. This is worship. So we invite you to listen to the message today in the songs. This is Prime, the online service of worship produced for and by the City Road Chapel United Methodist Church, located in Madison, Tennessee. Today's service is a special concert for mothers of all types in celebration of Mother's Day, May the 10th, 2020. Here's a grand old song of the faith. I love to tell the story. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and His glory, of Jesus and His love. I love to tell the story because I know it's true. It satisfies my longing as nothing else can do. Sing it with me. I love to tell the story. It will be my theme and glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love.
So hey everybody, welcome to my home studio, and uh, so glad you could be here. I pack a lot of uh, stuff in a very small space, but I'm glad to have it. Um, this particular song was written in relation to the our communion liturgy, because in a few weeks or a month or so, we're going to get back together and we're going to gather around Christ's table. And when we gather, we'll say a prayer. We It's a prayer called the Great Thanksgiving. It's a prayer that goes back to the fourth century. Uh, and so this particular song is a musical version of that prayer. So I hope you like it, and uh, may it be a reminder that we will come to the table again soon. It is a good and joyful thing to sing our praises to God again. Creator of the day and night, maker of our love and light. Holy are you, God of power, and holy are you, God of might. Heaven and earth are full of grandeur, Hosanna in the highest. Our praises go to Jesus Christ, the Holy Son and the Blessed Light. Came to bring your kingdom near, show us love which casts out fear. Holy are you, God of power, and holy are you, God of might. Heaven and earth are full of grandeur, Hosanna in the highest. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Christ is dying, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Holy are you, God of power, and holy are you, God of might. Heaven and earth are full of grandeur, Hosanna in the highest. Yeah. 
Creator God, we covenant live our lives as celebrants of your amazing endless love. We praise your name, O oh God above. Holy are you, God of power, and holy are you, God of might. Heaven and earth are full of grandeur. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, God of power, and holy are you, God of might. Heaven and earth are full of grandeur. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. So a whole bunch of years ago, I walked into a club down in downtown Nashville and was blown away by this band that I heard performing there, led by uh, a singer named Jonel Mosser. And Jonel Mosser has been well known throughout Nashville uh, as a singer and a songwriter, uh, and she's become a friend of mine. And she has a wonderful song that I wanted our congregation to hear. And so... Uh, I've invited Jonelle to uh, share with us in our worship service. She is a member at the Eastwood Christian Church over in East Nashville, which has a connection to our church because Wesley King, uh, their music director, used to be our music director. She's also accompanied by Stuart Duncan, who is a Grammy award-winning musician in this song. So Jonelle, we are so glad that you could be here with us. Pastor Jake, thank you so much. We have been friends for a long time, and I was so thrilled when you asked me to sing for this service. I wanted to tell you a little bit about this song. I wrote it with my friend Pierce Pettis many years ago, um, and it, it's funny. Pierce was not writing exclusively gospel songs, but I knew when I went into this session that we were going to write a, a gospel song, and that morning, uh, I still had little boys. They're grown men now. But that morning I had lost something. I can't even tell you what it was at this point, but it distressed me greatly. And I kept saying to myself, I can't let this ruin my mind for this uh, um, writing session because I didn't have that many when I had little kids. And the thing I had lost, I kept saying, well, I don't know where it is, but God knows where it is. And as long as God knows where it is, it's not lost. So I don't have to think about that. I don't have to cry about this anymore. And that's the line of the first line of the song. I don't have to cry anymore. You don't have to worry. And then I thought about well, all of the other things that we're told to roll over on God and all of the things that he bore for us. And so that's what this song came out of. The, the bridge of it talks about uh, what's spoken of in Isaiah man of sorrows, well acquainted with grief. And I think that's good to know that God really knows how much we hurt. He really does. He really wondered if his life was in vain. He really bore our sins. So love and hugs, virtual hugs to everybody there in the congregation. I can't wait to the day I can come sing this in person for you. We can't wait either. And thanks very much, Janelle. Uh, we look forward to you coming. And uh, happy Mother's Day, everybody. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Thanks. I don't have to cry anymore. I don't have to worry about what's in store. Walk that road exhausted. have to cry anymore I don't have to know it all I don't have to be so smart stand so tall climb that mountain only to fall I don't have to know it all you did that for me You did that for me You are the chain So I could be free yeah. You did that for me I don't have to be ashamed I don't have to hang my head Show 
shoulder the blade Wonder if my life's been in vain I don't have to be ashamed You did that for me You did that for me You are the chain so I could be free Yeah You did that for me Man of sorrows Well acquainted with grief Dragged to the city dump Spread eagle on a crossbeam From the Like a scarecrow Nailed like a there for all the world to see You did that for me You did that for me You are the chain so I could be free Yeah, you did that for me Here's a little Just a Closer Walk with E. Sing along. As I've spent time working in the Madison community to try to bring our community together, I've developed all sorts of new friends, and one of them is Mark Robinson. Mark and his wife Sue live down at Neely's Bend, and Mark is a great guitar player, uh, played with us for the Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast and for our uh, Christmas concert, and uh, I've just really come to appreciate Mark and his gifts. Mark teaches at Belmont and SAE. He has a, a wonderful song on the banks of a river that uh, he's going to share with us. Mark, welcome to City Road Chapel. On the banks of 
the river let it roll over me on the banks of the river as it flows to the sea let it roll, let it roll As it runs from the mountains to the sea On the banks of the river Let it roll Like a memory or a sweet dream, always with me in my mind. I will follow that memory like a river. For all time Let it roll Let it roll Take me home That's where I long to be Like a memory Or a river let it roll over me like a memory or a river. Let it roll over me. It seems fitting following Mark's song about the river that I share this next song, which is about the sacrament of baptism. The very first line of the song, I will tell you, I stole from the end of the story, A River Runs Through It. And the phrase is, I am haunted by the waters. And the fact is, is that all of us who are people of faith who have been baptized in Jesus should be haunted by the waters because the waters change us and help us to have a sense of who we are in God's kingdom. So I share this song with you and I hope you like it.
would hold the pond Where a gray-haired Baptist preacher Shared with me the grace of God In the Father, Son, and Spirit And to the waters I did fall All right, here's one that just gets up and goes somewhere. I'll fly away. Little piano instrumental.
Well, we hope that you've enjoyed our joyful noise today and that you've heard the voice of God somewhere in the music. I especially want to thank our special guests, Jonelle Mosser, Stuart Duncan, and Mark Robinson, for joining with us in worship this morning and their gifts to this worship service. And of course, I want to lift up a special word of thanks and praise to the moms out there, all the moms who have raised their own children, and also those women who have cared for and loved others as their own. The prophet Isaiah describes our God as a mother who comforts her child and is always offering comfort to us. And we thank God today for the mothers in the world who provide comfort and love to all. Now, before we leave today, I want to share the names of all who are on our prayer list as of Friday, May 8th, 2020. Let us pray. Creator God, who holds us in your arms like a mother cradles her child, we come to you today thanking you for the women in the world who take up the calling to be a mother. We ask your blessings upon them and that you help them in nurturing us to be a people of grace and love. We thank you as well for the gift of music and how it helps connect us to you. Fill us with your songs that we can always make a joyful noise to you. Lord, we pray for our friends who have been mentioned and the needs of the world. And Lord, we acknowledge we live in a broken place and time filled with mistrust that far too often leads to violence. We have become consumed with our own desires and wants, failing to heed the needs of others. God, forgive us and transform us. Remind us daily that we are called to be united as your children. Never let us forget our call to love our neighbor as you loved us. And as we prepare to end our time together, make sure, O oh Lord, that we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, who came to show us that unconditional love is possible. We pray today in his holy name, and we say now together the words that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Praise than when we fall. 